Your third eye should be bloodshot open right now. You're supposed to be aware of all this new energy. Your dream's supposed to be movies. You're supposed to literally not even be able to tell really sometimes if you're dreaming or if you're really in this reality right now. Your dream's supposed to literally be so potent right now because the energy is so fucking dense on this planet. The energy on this planet is so fucking obvious and it's so different and it's changing at a mass rate. You cannot be stuck in your fucking shell and still be in your old self. You cannot be going with this system, bro. You should not still be worshiping celebrities thinking you need to make perfect music and you need to hit a studio and you need to do this and you need to look like that. You need to really take a break from this shit, get away from the crowd and tap in with yourself. You need to really start spending more time within yourself. Like right now more than ever. A lot of y'all motherfuckers, the, the lid is being closed on y'all. And I know y'all been feeling shitty and y'all been feeling down for months. I'm not the only one who would go, who be going through my shit and have to face it. If I'm going through my shit and I put in all this work, bro, you gotta be like them niggas from Africa, all around the world, from nature, with drums in nature. You have to get back to your regular voice. Nigga, I sound like exactly how I sound in concert. Some of us is just different, and this is why we stand out. This is why the motherfucking ancestors, this is why our DNA, this is why we know shit before it happened. This is why when we is facing our demons and if we is going through shit, it always seems like we just elevate even higher. Because we chosen, bro. We the chosen ones. We the motherfucking ones that came out, came down here for a fucking purpose. If, you, if it's not obvious that motherfuckers is not on social media, people is not involved with the masses. People is not doing what they doing. People is not in the crowd. These is the chosen ones. Fuck being lit. I don't give zero fucks about being seen and praised by some fucking bot ass people. I got a purpose. I'm sending a message. This energy is activated. It's nothing these niggas can do. Most niggas just want to get praised. They post pics with their money, they chains. They want to show you everything because you can't do it. So you automatically going to look at them like they above you. Meanwhile, nigga, I don't want you to praise me at all. I just want you to take the message and keep it moving. People take me as a joke. People put me on a pedestal like I'm a god. If y'all don't get the purpose in the picture behind this shit, then it's, it's okay. Instead of asking the universe, why is this happening to me? Ask the universe, what do you want me to learn from this experience? I was just stuck in a traffic jam, deep divers. And I'm like, instead of getting mad, let me grow wiser. Let me use this as an exercise to cultivate more inner peace and patience. Because this is a test. Them taking away your freedoms is a test. A lot of people aren't going to make it. A lot of people have already thrown in the towel. Right now, you have to realize this too shall pass. Right now, you have to realize you are not powerless. You are powerful beyond measure. You can be a co-creator. There is so much you can do. Right now, you have to have the emotional strength to do the unpopular thing. And that might be speaking your heart and mind, speaking your truth, because we are in the midst of spiritual warfare. I told you about the split between 3D and 5D. The inorganic ones want you trapped in the 3D, which is the fear, the lower frequency. You have to elevate above that and move to the love frequency, the 5D. Because right now there is a war for your mind, a war for your soul, a battle for the hearts and minds of the people. Only the strong will survive. A lot of people you know have already switched sides. You thought they were conscious. You thought they were awake. But now you're like, oh my gosh, they are so into the system. Because you see, this global pandemic is exposing who everyone really is. That's why I told you it's happening for a reason. There's not only an earth reset, the great reset, right? You've heard of that. There's also a cosmic reset. And this is why it seems like the world is ending because it is the end of time as we know it. They know this. We are entering the age of Aquarius. And this is why you're seeing a whole new world because this system has had a system failure and their time is up. And right now, you have to stand in your truth. 
Right now, you have to stand in your freedoms. Right now, you have to stand united with other people who are all about their freedoms, protecting their freedoms, protecting their mental health. Stand together, united with your fellow kindred human being. This is the only way out of this because the inorganic ones are not gonna stop. They are gonna continue to make your life a complete misery, to make you suffer. But once again, suffering is a choice. You can wake up and choose how you feel and this is how you become emotionally stronger. Only those who are able to adapt will survive as well. When you learn that right now, many people are so plugged into the apple and this apple symbol symbolizes the forbidden fruit. It symbolizes the forbidden fruit, which is a half bit apple, symbolizing man and woman's loss of innocence merging into the artificial world. And to become emotionally stronger, you must always ask yourself, what does it mean to be human? To be human means to be humane, which means to have compassion for all life forms on the planet. To be human means to think and feel and to be a sovereign being unto yourself. That's a human being. Well, they want to turn you from a human being into a human android. And to become emotionally stronger, you have to say, actually, how much time am I giving to the artificial fake life out there? And how much time am I giving to the true life in here? You want to be giving more time to real people, not just virtual people. You want to spend more time with yourself than you do on your phone. There is no evolution without a challenge. And right now, humanity is being faced with the greatest challenge ever. I told you, this whole thing is a giant experiment. But the, the experiment is not finished. And the experiment, the experiment can stop at any time. All you have to do is say, hey, enough is enough. If you do not speak, your silence is their green light. Your silence is your consent. Right now, if you are unhappy with how things are happening in the world, use your voice, use your platform, spread awareness because you aren't powerless, you are powerful. See, the truth is coming out. It's all coming out. And what is done in the dark shall come out into the light. Only the strong, only the strong shall survive. Prepare yourself emotionally for what's coming. Prepare yourself emotionally that people you know might turn their backs on you good friends and even family members. They are creating the split right now. You are a fringe dweller, an outsider, an outcast, and this is what they want. So right now, if you are awake and aware, make sure you are surrounding yourself with other like minds, other people who get where you're coming from. Because a lot of people, their mind has already been overtaken by the Borg. They have lost the sense of who they are. That's why they're walking around like everything's normal. They're numb, desensitized. You feel because you're an empath. You can pick up the subtle vibrations of everything around you. They want to make sure you don't feel anything. Put you under general anesthetic. You got to wake up and say, I'm alive. I'm free. I'm going to reclaim my power. Let me tell you this, deep divers. The world that they have given us is a big lie. And to become emotionally stronger, you have to live in your truth. Even if everyone is going against you. Even if people are looking at you strange. You got to be proud of who you are. Learn more about how to grow your own fruits and vegetables. Learn how to do intermittent fasting so you don't have these withdrawal symptoms. You're banging on the, on the door of McDonald's at two o'clock in the morning. I need a burger, right? That's why I had to let go of a lot of things. All of that junk, the hot dogs, all of that, I had to let it go. So I'm, I'm good. I prepared myself emotionally for what's coming. I can live on some, on some, on some sunflower seeds. Let go and train your mind 
train your mind to let go of everything you fear to lose. Every day eliminates a lot of stress. You should get accustomed to a couple herbal teas. I specialize in custom when it comes to the fees. Curate any vibe in alignment with your needs.